Hi guys, in today's class, we will be going over improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction more than one whole. You'll see that the numerator will be bigger than the denominator. Let's take a look. We have eight thirds. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So the goal is to break this apart. Break apart the eight thirds by asking yourself, how many holes could I pull out of here, right? And that's how we are going to regroup this eight thirds, right? So we see that our denominator is three, right? So that means that we are talking about thirds, right? So whenever we break this apart, we have to make sure that our denominator stays a three, right? Because we're talking about thirds. So we're going to start with our one holes first, right? So I'm going to um, make sure that my denominators are all the same before I start. So now I'm going to add um, some numerators, but my numerators has to add up into an eight. So let's start with three because I know three over three is one whole. So I'm just going to keep creating my holes just to see how close I can get to eight or if I can get to eight. So I see that 3 plus 3 is 6, and if I add that other 3, I get 9. So I can't use that other 3. So, so far, we just have 3 plus 3 is 6, and then plus the 2, that's how we will get 8. So I have 1 holes, 2 holes, right? I have 2 holes, and then that fraction that we have left, that's what's left over, 2 thirds. So our answer is 2 and 2 thirds, and that's our final answer. Okay, I hope that this makes a lot of sense to you guys. I really, really do. We're going to have a little bit more practice, and I promise you it should become much more better to you guys and much more clear. Okay, let's jump into the next one. Okay, so let's write seven fifths, right? We have seven fifths. We see that the numerator is way bigger than the denominator, so this is an improper fraction. So we're going to break it apart. But make sure that your denominator stays a five, right? Because we're talking about fifths. So our numerator, which is a seven, we have to make sure that that is our total, right? So when we create our holes, we have to just keep going until we get close to a seven. So we have five and five. So five plus five is 10. So that's way bigger than seven. So we have five, how many more do we need to get seven? We would need two more. So I'm gonna put my two there and we're not gonna need that other fraction over there, so I'm going to delete it. So I see that I was able to make one holes, right? Because when the numerator and the denominator is the same, that's one hole. And then we have two fifths left over. So our final answer is one and two fifths. Does that make sense? Is it getting better? Okay. We're going to try another one. Okay. All right, let's go. So now for this one, we have 15 fourths, right? So remember our denominator is four. So we're talking about fourths. So I'm going to break it apart, but I'm going to make sure that my denominator is staying the same, but I'm going to start off with my whole. So I got four fourths, which is one whole. I'm going to do another four fourths. So add up your numerator. So we got four plus four, right? And that's eight. So I can do another four, another four fourths, four fourths. So that's four, eight, 12. Okay, if I do another four fourths, right? If I do another four fourths, that'll be four, eight, 12, 16. 16 is bigger than 15, right? Because look at our original fraction, we have 15 fourths. So if I have four, eight, 12, how many more do I need to get to 16? I will need, I mean, how many more will I need to get to 15? I'm sorry, I will need three more. So that's why we have a three in our last fraction. So I was able to see that I have three holes, one, two, three holes, and then the three fourths is left over. So our final answer is three and three fourths. Does that make better sense? <laughs> I hope it does. Yes, okay, all right, so let's try another one and I want I want to show you guys this one because sometimes we won't have um, any fractions left over so we have 12 thirds so remember our denominator has to stay three which is thirds so I'm going to make them a whole that's three six and then I'm gonna do another one nine three six nine twelve oh look at that three six nine twelve it is right on point. So that means I don't have anything left over. So um, I made sure that my denominators were the same. I made sure that my numerators got me close to 12 or at 12. So I, we got it at 12, right? 3, 6, 9, 12. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4. So I got four holes. So my final answer is four holes. I hope that this makes a lot of sense to you guys, okay? The more practice, the better you will become. And I'll see you in the next class. Bye.